Good afternoon, dear friends. I am making this demonstration video about the transition to the blockchain. Now, as you see, we are in the CIU back office, my crypto unit. Please mind that this is a test server. That is why some fields may look new to you, look different from your current back office. But our main task here is to understand how you must save your blockchain wallet keys. The first thing you see by clicking the button Portfolio is the address of your wallet. You must copy it, because you will need it in the future. We copy it and create for it a separate Word document and paste the address of our wallet into this document. Then you can print this document out in a number of copies and keep them in different places. And now, to start, you just paste it into the Word document. Before you generate an access key, we can click on the address of the wallet and see how it looks on the blockchain. Data are already being transmitted there, and we can see here 20,000 CIUs. Let's come back to the back office. We see that here we have 22,000 CIUs, whereas on the blockchain there are 20,000 CIUs. Where does this difference come from? Synchronization with the blockchain is done in stages. Firstly, we upload the 2019 data and then data for 2020. And if your purchases were made only recently or in installments, then these data will be viewed on the blockchain a bit later. Firstly, we move the data from March 2019. Well, let's get started. You press the button Generate Access Key. Here, be sure to read once again all the warnings and a reminder that you will not get this seed phrase from anyone else. Only you can see it on your devices. I can now take a picture of the computer screen with my phone. These 12 words in particular, so that the other fields of the screen and the website you are taking a picture of cannot be seen. That means that even if someone finds these 12 words in your phone, a person is rather unlikely to guess the website, the crypto wallet these 12 words belong to. But you may print out this picture and keep it as a printed copy, and then delete this picture from your phone. You can also copy-paste these words into our Word document as well, next to the number of the wallet. When you create these phrases, it is very important to have space bars here, as they are not copy-pasted in a right way. When you enter the wallet, you need space bars. Since I took a picture with my phone, I can understand the words and add space bars in between. But you can write it down by hand on a piece of paper. You can use any means to save and keep these words in safety. So, we copy-pasted them, took a picture of them, and now move to the next step. Here, you need to enter the words in a correct order. Here, you need to enter the words one by one. 
we can enter them manually. The main thing to remember is to enter them correctly. Be sure to avoid any typos. Press the space bars after each word. The second word is coast. The space bar. The space bar. Or you can also use the document and copy paste the rest of the words. You can copy paste the phrase in full, but make sure you have the necessary space bars in between. Well, now you check if the phrase is entered correctly. Everything is fine. The first three words were entered manually, the remaining words were copy pasted with space bars, and they were correctly entered. We generated our secret key, copy pasted our phrase onto a piece of paper, and you can also write it down or take a picture. Now let's come back to the main page, and you can see that the private key has already been generated. What is our next step to take? Our next step is, of course, to go to the wallet. Friends, this is a test blockchain. We are testing it together with our IT team. So, as you see, it has a different domain name. Do not try to repeat this domain name which you see in this demonstration video. Well, in order to get access to the wallet, you will need the address of your wallet. Even from here, it gets us to the address of the wallet. This is just a link to the blockchain, but we need to copy and paste it. To copy, and paste it to copy. Sometimes your browser may offer to save passwords. If, of course, no one works on your computer besides you, or you don't take it out with you, if it is not your laptop, MacBook, iPad, to a public place, then you can certainly save the password in Google together with your seed phrase and the number of the wallet. But you are not recommended to do it, because Google synchronizes passwords, even if you log in to your Google account from another computer. This, of course, is convenient if you use the wallet every day to avoid entering the seed phrase manually or do not carry this printed document with you. But you need to think about this safety. We are creating a PIN code. The PIN code should preferably be complicated, not six zeros, not six ones, and not your date of birth. Any other six-digit PIN code that you can easily remember. Well, here you can see 20,000 CIUs. As I said, these are not all the transactions. They are those that were synchronized at the time of your coming to the back office. And here we do not see unfrozen CIUs. Well, in our portfolio we had 1,500 unfrozen CIUs. Let's see how they get unfrozen on the blockchain by clicking the button Refresh Frozen. Each operation you make on the blockchain shall be confirmed with the PIN code. You click Refresh Frozen once again. And Refresh Balances. As you can see, the figure has changed. That is, we have 3,400 unfrozen and 16,600 remain frozen. That means that the missing 2,000 CIUs will be moved to the blockchain a bit later. 
You see, these are gifts and promotions received on the 8th of January 2020. That means that this transaction of 2019 has already been moved, whereas the transaction in 2020 has not yet been synchronized with our test blockchain. If we look at the overall information, we have 200 and 56,000 accounts here. It is still being synchronized. If you enter your crypto wallet a week after, most likely that you will see your transaction in January 2020.